Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Blog tutorial. I just got a great question from Pat Autry. Uh, he wants to hear reverb in his headphones when he's recording vocals, and he's asking what the best way to do that is. I can think of two easy ways to do this uh, that won't require any additional purchases or anything like that. You just need a decent audio interface. First way to do it is kind of the way you would record anything or send to a reverb in a mix. So I've got my vocal track, and I've got my reverb track, and I'm going to record arm and monitor enable my track. And now you're hearing my voice coming through the track, coming through Reaper. There is not a lot of latency right now because I have my audio interface set to 64 samples for the block size. This is a very short amount of time for the computer to process the sound and get it back to you. You can run into issues if your computer is not up to the task of super low latency. But if you are able to do this, you just set a low block size and then you add effects just like you would do anything. So I'm going to drag and drop to this reverb track. Hearing it out of both tracks now, we just have to add in our reverb. And now you're hearing my voice through Valhalla Room. And obviously that's too much reverb, but uh, something like that would probably work fine for a singer. We're going to disable that track for now. The main thing with this method is that you are able to set a very low latency on your device, so you're hearing all the effects in Reaper that you put onto the track or on sends, and there will be a delay, but you try to make it as low as possible by setting your block size in Reaper's audio device preferences. Now, if your audio interface has its built-in mixer, we can just open up this. This is my mixer for the Profire 2626. My voice is coming in on input one, so I'm just gonna unmute it. And now I'm hearing in my headphones with zero latency. And in Reaper, I would be recording it the same way, only I would not be monitoring it. So make sure that monitor input is disabled here. So I can see my input on the meter, but I'm not hearing it in the headphones through Reaper. I'm hearing it directly from the audio interface. But we're not hearing the reverb because we're not monitoring this track. So the workaround is to disable the master send on this track. We can open up the routing window, uncheck this master parent send, or I'll click the routing button as a shortcut. And we do need to monitor enable again. So now we're hearing the reverb on the voice, but we're hearing the clean vocal from directly from the interface. So we can manage the amount of reverb by just changing the track level or changing the send level on this track. When, once we are done recording, uh, we just need to click on this button here. We can hear the vocal and play it back with the same amount of reverb that we had before. So the good thing about doing it this way is that we don't need to worry about low latency. We can set our block size to anything we want. We can set it to 512, 1024, and not have to worry about our voice coming out late, especially when it's going through a reverb where that lateness can just be pre-delay. And that's it. Two ways to add reverb to your vocal with low latency for a vocal tracking session. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support The Reaper Blog by becoming a patron on Patreon, patreon.com slash thereaperblog, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.